When is it ever a good time to cheat? And I, I, my thing is, it's such a despicable move that that I don't think there's ever a really good time to cheat, unless, unless she's so or hot, someone's cheating on you. you. You, you have the well. What was I supposed to do? Excuse. Well, you could actually <laughs> just have a picture. Like, I mean, come on. No, I know it's painful, but come on. I mean, look, look at it. No, it's painful. Well, what was I supposed to do? I know it's painful. Oh, have you ever been cheated on? Has anybody ever cheated on you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's gotta be. Okay, and probably way more times than I actually am aware of. Yeah, that's gotta be. That's a thing to do. It's, but I never understood. No, I, why, had, why, why I, just... I, I dated a girl, and she she ended up. She knew this other couple, and they were married. And I'm not gonna get into the details, cause I'm not gonna try to out people. But whatever. She was spending time over there, because they were working in the same field. And the wife was getting jealous. And she used to come. My girl would come home to me, and be like, "I would never do that. I would never do boo, 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 whatever." So. She annoyed me, so I broke up with her. And then, like, six months later, I just started doing comedy. No, I was about a year and a half into doing comedy. And the wife from the other couple came out to one of my shows. She's like, oh, my God, I heard you were doing comedy. You had to come out to a show. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, where's your husband? And then she was just like, and she teared up and said, oh, she's with so-and-so now, my ex-girlfriend. Was with, with yeah. her husband? Yeah. So there's no way. She at least gave the guy a hand when we were. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're filthy. Oh, it's they're filthy. Oh, they're horrible. filthy. And the, and the thing is, is only guys... <laughs> seem to, to to have the reputation. It's probably because we're so bad at it and women have that intuition and they just can smell it. They just know something's going on and women are just, you know, what's that expression like uh, about the, the secrets in a woman heart, woman's heart? It's a really creepy one. I'd mess it up. Something, you know that. Oh, yeah. oh, you're the worst. <laughs> Dude, last night I slept like a stone. <laughs> Yeah, it's I, like when you got six eggs and a dozen of dozen nuts. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm I'm bad with that stuff, but dude, it's brutal, man. Like, we were in Indiana, man, and these these four women from Iowa showed up, you know, to this like after party, all married, and this girl. Dude, married like, women are the worst. And she goes like, married this. women in their forties are the they 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 go through this midlife crisis, of like, am I still hot? Oh, no. Right, and then and you combine that with the fact that they've been with some dude for 10, 15 years at this point. And, you know, whatever, his testosterone levels of, of going down. And it's just with their head. And, dude, when they go out, you know, they get a sitter oh, yeah. and they put on their I'm going out glitter top. Dude, when they come up for a picture afterwards, it's like they've never even understood. No, but they, they don't get sexual harassment. Like, what, How many times do they, they put their arm around you? They got their hand on your ass. They go to kiss you. They're rubbing fuck. your chest. It's like, ah, dude, get away it's, from me. Dude, it's, it's really up. And dudes don't know. She's like, yeah, this is our girls weekend out. We all left the husbands at home. They're all hunting or whatever. And like, she was like, I was like, do you cheat on your, I was like, do you, do you cheat on your husband? Like the way she was talking. And she goes, she, she goes, what the f do you think? <sighs> of course, honey. Okay, like, in other words, like, grow up. And she goes, yeah, I'm the local reporter, the weather mess. And I was just like, Jesus yeah, but Christ. That, but that's not a it good indication like, of women, dude. That's, no, 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 that, no, I'm not that, saying that's that that's like, psycho. no, that's no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that that's women. But, like, the whole cheating thing, like, is there ever a good time? I got to gotta tell you, like, I can't, the amount of times that, like, you know, a woman like that comes up to me and just immediately comes up like she's going to kiss me full on the lips. And I pull away and she's like, and she looks at me like, gee, what's wrong with you? It's like, what's wrong with what the fuck you, you weirdo? <laughs> Yeah. Your red wine breath, your you old you know, bag, get the you, away from me. You know, I literally do, like, you know, if it was if it was acceptable to mush a girl in the face, I would <laughs> to, just push their head back with the back of their heads touching the top of their back. I would. You know how I know the real horse? Because the real horse. <laughs> no, this, this. How do you know the real horse, Paul? This is how I know the real horse. Because I talk about my wife and my kids a lot in my act. And that litter, that makes the like all decent girls. All leave. the decent yep. girls just I, I, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good all, indicator, yeah. right? I talk about Nia. They all, all they decent all girls fucking, leave. But the, there's always a few stragglers. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's always the few those, that are those, like those, Sal. You and your wife fighting? Like, dude, it's yeah. Like, it's just it's like. Did you hear me talking about the love dude, I have remember, for my remember, kids? You, know you fucking we were, slut. We were in New Jersey. We did that theater in New Jersey, and uh, oh, that was hilarious, dude. All those, those. So you had like a dude, yeah, dude. You, we do the count, <laughs> count Basie in Jersey, and these two girls are waiting to talk to Bill. And all of a sudden, they just basically gave him a proposition. They just basically were like two girls that were like, "Hey, we want to," without saying it, we want to have a threesome with you. And Bill just goes, "Yeah, I yeah. don't think my girlfriend would appreciate yeah, that." No, you know what I hated? You know what I hated? <laughs> I actually talked about the podcast was the fact that 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 door guy cock blocked. They're not like I was going to do anything. What door guy? The guy who worked there cock blocked it because they they said their proposition and he was like ten feet away and he, he just he does the whole like 
Whoa, what's going on over there? Oh. Look at that. Oh. And it's just like, you. I'm not going to do it. I'm locked down. Can I at least for half a second have the ego stroke of the fact that these two girls were going to do this? Just go, hey now, watch out. It's like those Heineken remember commercials. That remember that, that dude oh. from 30 feet away. Not 30. He was close. What's in- going on over here? Yeah. yeah. Look out. <laughs> dude, yeah, but like those girls were Incoming. shameless. Dude, those girls were shameless. Those girls were just like, hey, so we want to go get some. And I was so naive at first. I didn't get it. I go, dude, they want to really go get some no, breakfast. They said, and you go, they no, said hey, you want to go get some banana pancakes. It was a, it was, a, a bit. Was it a bit? It was the bit that I did, but it was, I can't do it. Like the way That's... they said it, it was just. And I just saw you kind of just look back and go, yeah, I don't think my girlfriend would appreciate yeah. that. And then they kind of just, it was like that awkward, like, leaf. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, to make it seem like I'm not like some titanium dude here, like they, you know, they were, you know. Yeah, no. yeah, they were kind of, you know, middle, no, the good mi- ones mi- leave. Mi- and, middle of the road. And, and the real good ones go, hey, good luck with your babies. Good luck with your family. Like, then you're like, oh, man, these are real, you yeah, know. And if they're really hot, you get mad in a le- le- way that you actually brought up that you're in a relationship. But isn't it amazing how a girl could be such a sleaze? Like, this one girl goes, no. what are you doing tomorrow? And I go, I'm flying back to New York. And she literally looked at me in the eyes and she rolled her eyes. She goes, you're flying back to New York tomorrow. We're going to go to a lounge. You want?" And it was like, no, like, I have a family. No. Did that's, you get it? Did you? That's why one of the best years I had on the road was when I wasn't drinking because I didn't run into any of those people. But if you hang out, you end up running in into those uh, those maniacs I, I told one time dude you ever run into the one I shouldn't be telling I, I shouldn't I shouldn't be telling these stories one time I think I'm a, I probably did it yeah you point. should of I've course done. you should it's a podcast let's do it I, I told Neil this story anyways right one time I was I was in uh, I'm not gonna say where I was I don't get anybody in trouble okay I was I was I was not home Paul I was on the road <laughs> so the feature acts hey, you know let's go out to the club get some drinks blah blah so I go out to this club and it's like literally like the dance club and so I've already, I'm already feeling old but I'm, you know I'm still having a good time you know looking at everybody all the beautiful people it was great so we were in this little like area that had like these couches so we're sitting there drinking and there's this other crew of people like couples that kind of came out with us with a couple of extra girls or whatever and we're sitting there drinking and everything and I stood up to talk to the, the feature of somebody and I feel somebody like grabbed my ass and I turned around I literally thought it was going to be some dude like being, uh, being like an idiot I turn around, it was just this bl- blonde chick, and I was just like, hey, hey, what's going on, or whatever, right? So I sit down. She starts talking to her friend who's sitting on the other side of me. She leans across me, has both her forearms on, like, my legs. Like, basically, if she took them out, her head would have fell down onto my dick. So I'm sitting there like, what the, f-, right? Jesus. And I see she's got a wedding ring on. Jesus. And, I, and I go, I'm going, hey, hey, whoa, hey, what's going on? I go, aren't you, like, married or something like that? She goes, no, my husband, he's been blah, blah, blah. He's on MySpace. This is how long ago. He was saying he was on MySpace. And uh, he's always, I always catch him looking at, you know, talking to these hot girls on there. Do you think anything's going on? And I was like, hey, you know, I don't, I don't know, whatever. You know, she's like leaning on my leg. And I'm like, where's, where's your, I go, well, where's your husband tonight? She goes, oh, he's sitting on the other side of me. Oh, my God. Dude, and he was sitting there like completely ignoring her, like going through his phone. Like their, their marriage was basically over. And it was like, I, I really got upset with her because it's like you're, you're basically – testing to see how much this guy still cares about you with my face. Oh my god. Uh uh uh. Ooh, 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 ooh.